day, everyone. Happy Thursday. Again, we meet for Qualified Podcast. It's definitely a pleasure for me to be with you all. My name is Dr. George Fabre Jr. You can call me Dr. G. I just wanted to take this moment to thank you all again for tuning in last week. And as promised, we have a lot to offer and a lot of content that we will be discussing. Today, we would like to tackle something that is immensely important to me. But first, let me start off by letting you all know something about me. Outside of being an author, outside of being a professor, outside of everything else that I do with my business, family, whatever you name it, just want to let you all know I work for a higher ed institution in South Florida. And in this, this actual institution, I'm actually one who handles a lot of career um, opportunities, a lot of career coach opportunities. I'm actually the lead for that campus. And I'm not saying this to be boastful, but I'm saying this to show you my credibility and knowledge in this particular area, because it is very important to me um, to discuss this particular area or any area that, uh, that I discuss, I would like to make it known that I have the credibility and done the, the scholastic research to make sure that I provide you with accuracy, what is needed to understand and be known so you can gain this knowledge and we learn from each other as I informed you prior that this is how we're going to roll when it comes to qualified podcasts. Um, just letting you know this, I want to discuss something very important to me um, and that I feel that I need to share with you all. I don't want to be selfish or stingy with my knowledge and what I've attained in my field um, as um, a lead coordinator and also a coach um, as far as life coaching, career coaching at that capacity of what I do um, for the institution that I work for. There are millions of people who's lost their jobs during this pandemic. And I'd be remiss if I don't take a moment to discuss with you the top 10 jobs that you want to focus on during this pandemic. Whether these jobs are your main career focus or whether these career um, opportunities are things that you want to do part time. The objective is we want to focus on the top 10 careers that we know that we have obtained as far as information that is um, has been given to us at this capacity, at this institution that I wanna share with you all. I'm not making any stories up, nor am I gonna keep any secrets. I'm not charging anybody to take a seminar or a workshop that I'm offering. I'm giving this to you all free. Make sure you subscribe, talk to your friends, family, let them know what we're discussing today on Qualified TV. The first thing that you all need to know that we are going to discuss that is um, um, as far as career wise, that I recommend that you all want to focus on out of the top 10. Number 10, the first job that you all want to focus on becoming are virtual assistants. Why a virtual assistant? A virtual assistant averages at least um, a minimum of between 12 to $18 an hour. Some of you may still be in college. Some of you may be pursuing a, 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 an actual career path that is stressful or that requires a lot of your time and you need something that you're able to do remotely. During this pandemic, the actual field that has been phenomenal out of all of the top 10 fields that I mentioned you, number 10 is a virtual assistant. Now, what does a virtual assistant do? A virtual assistant, basically, you, know, you need to know Microsoft Office. And if you don't know Microsoft Office Suite, you just basically need to apply yourself, take the course, Go on YouTube, learn it, um, put that you've learned it in your resume, get certified in it, do all that you can. You also need to learn Adobe Illustrator. A lot of us don't want to be techie, but I'm going to let you know the IT world has been um, I'm fascinated with this pandemic for some reason because a lot of people want to be remote. Billions of dollars are, 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 are actually rotating within these fields, the IT field, the software field. So that's in parentheses. But number 10, you want to focus on becoming a virtual assistant. You want to learn Photoshop. Photoshop, learn how to edit these photos. Learn how to work all of these actual softwares, these actual apps, these actual programs. They'll help you throughout the pandemic. That's number 10. You want to make sure that you learn how to become one who's able to work at the capacity of assistant. Learning how to administrate an office because a lot of, lot of organizations are looking for folks 
who are in, who are equipped in these actual areas and they'll hire you because of your experience. Number nine, we're going to go up the ladder. Number nine, these individuals on average 15 to 25 an hour. I know someone personally who's actually in this actual arena who averages no less than a hundred dollars to do this resume writers number nine during the pandemic it has been proven that resume writers are doing exceptionally well during the pandemic what do you need to know what do you need to learn number one take a course in resume writing there are tons of courses that are offered right now remotely online from different institutions that offers resume writing they teach you how to write resumes and if you are one who subscribed to my actual podcast you send me your information i can even give you some information on how to um, um, assist people with resume writing. I can give you a format that you can use, but that's something in parentheses. You have to subscribe. You have to follow our page. You have to be real supportive, but because we can't give the benefits to just anybody, it has to be to those who qualify. <laughs> the truth of the matter is number nine, resume writing. What is number two that you need to know about resume writing? You have to have the proclivities to reach out to people, like people, you may not be the best be, be, be in people's faces all day. You don't. You may not be like we say it in my language, the Creole language, Upasu Moon, but you have the ability to hold a conversation. You have the ability to, 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 to desire to help those. That's what you need as number two. And number three, um, listen, there are certain companies I'm going to give you right now that are looking for resume writers. You can apply for resume writing on Resume Edge. And you can also write a, 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 a apply for resume writing um, through another company named Ryder Bay. I'll add that information there so you can see. But these are all of the things that you may want to start with for resume writing. And that's number nine. Number eight, the number eight job during this pandemic that has been profound and that has still allowed individuals to generate income, photographers, oftentimes, um, I've dealt with students personally who's been told, oh, photographers don't make money. You know what? It's really contingent on who you are, how hungry you are, how you, 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 you set your, your, you set your, your pictures, your, photo your photos, different from the next person. Let me tell you, number one, photographers minimum average 15 an hour. And that's someone who's new. You're straight into the game. You don't know much. But an individual who goes beyond the veil, and I know quite a few photographers myself um, who are doing phenomenal right now during the pandemic. I can tell you, experienced photographers start at least at 25 an hour. And that's really dependent on what kind of photographer you are. I know someone who does um, um, photography for people who um, want to have pictures taken for their, ch their children or, or newborn. On average, they charge just for newborn pictures because they have to deal with um, the newborn crying, getting the right shot. On average, they can start with a minimum of 1,600 per shoot. So f f photographers are doing phenomenal and exceptionally well. These aren't stats that I'm making up. As I mentioned to you before, I'm in the industry. I get all of this information. And as promised, once I receive any and every information that I can help someone else, because I'm not stingy, I'm not selfish, and I don't feel like I'm the only one who needs to be successful. Everybody needs um, a seat at the table and everybody should get a plate. I'm telling you, photographers are doing exceptionally well. And again, you want to make sure you're good with editing, learn Adobe, learn how to Photoshop. These things are crucial. And depending on your experience, depending on what you, you've done, depending on um, how many um, 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 events that you've actually done some photography for, the more the merrier. Start taking pictures of landscape, different areas in your, in, in, in your, in your municipality, landscape, um, nice views, and edit those pictures. Trust me, that's one of the biggest, biggest fields right now during this pandemic. Number, what number are we on? Well, it's number eight. Number seven. Uh, you won't believe it. Number seven. This actual field right here, number seven, video editors. Video editors are doing exceptionally well 
during the pandemic. A video editor on average, this is a rookie coming straight out the street. A video editor on average is making between 20, 20 to 45 bucks an hour. A video editor, um, basically a professional, one who's been in the game or who's made their name known, who's, who, who has a notoriety. People are looking for you. People flock to learn what it is or, or, or want to book you. Those folks make on average between $75 to $150 per hour, and that's during the pandemic. I can't lie to you, that was one of the most, um, that was one of the best things I've done for myself, learn how to video edit, learn how to do all of these things. Why? Because I've saved the money, but I don't mind, say, I don't mind supporting businesses when it comes to these big um, types of videos or certain things that's on another level. But more importantly, that industry, based on your experience and based on your willingness to learn the material, trust and believe you can be successful during the pandemic. Working remotely, even if you go on site, you can still be safe. Hand, take care, certain pictures, handle yourself accordingly, following the CDC guidelines, wearing your mask, good video material, editing, and especially if you're one who provides um, um, your, the material or you provide the, the actual um, video for the actual event within a time frame, guaranteeing the customer that they'll receive it by a time frame. You'll always get calls because reliability brings forth sustainability. Facts. Now, number six. What is a number six? Number six. These are the folks who are doing exceptionally well during the pandemic. Web developers. Listen. Web developers are doing exceptionally well. Why? Because people want people to develop, to develop their website. They want people to, to work on, on creating websites for a lot of small businesses because a great majority of those who are unemployed have been inspired, have been propelled, have been um, 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 compelled to open up their own business, start building their brands. And what do they need? They need a web developer like yourself. Web developer, a rookie, someone who's straight off the street, you're learning the material. Web developer, typically a new cat from the street, young gal, young guy, usually starts between 20 to 30 an hour. I had to show this cup. That's my daughter who bought that for me. So they usually will make at least 20 to 30 an hour. That's number one. Um, they basically um, don't really charge per hour because web developers... There's really no point in charging an hour. Usually, if it's a web developer um, who uses WordPress, good, good, good system to use and work with WordPress. Or if you're one who uses um, an existing um, um, template and you know how to maneuver and work your way around it, learning that template or from that company, like a GoDaddy or whatever have you, you know how to maneuver, change the company, um, the, 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 take the GoDaddy off and put your company name. Dot com after the individual purchases their website, this, that, and the third, because there are so many dynamics to it. That individual can average $500 per customer. Average. That's just the minimum. Depending on what you just contingent on what it is that they want you to do. Listen, web developers are now number six during the pandemic. Listen, I am not going to withhold any information from you all. I am sharing with you what it is that I share with hundreds of people all the time. This is information that I share with people because I want to see everybody succeed. I don't want anyone to be mediocre. I don't want anyone to ever lack. I don't want anyone to have to depend on somebody or or, or, or have to be one that has to always be or, or one who's always watching people succeed. No, it's time for you to succeed. It's time for you to step out of your veil, out of your comfort zone. It's time for you to get to the point where you're no longer depending on people, but people are starting to depend on you. That is the reason why we're discussing these career paths, these career options during the pandemic that people are embarking on, that people are learning. These are the certifications they're earning. And why is that beneficial to them? Because these people are learning, are earning lucrative salaries and they're doing it successfully. A lot of us are afraid of these programs because, oh, I'm not IT oriented. I'm not good with um, 
um, um, internet. I'm not good with IT. Listen, that's what your fears are causing you to believe. And when you believe your fears, you become a product of your fears. And what does that? What happens to those who become a product of their fears? Those who become products of their fears always watch everybody else succeed. They always watch everybody else have a new story, have a new testimony of how they stepped out and took risks. And those who operate and live in fear always have the proclivities to work for the individual who stepped out and took a risk. So I'm urging all of you, don't be afraid. Step out. Learn what it is how to use Adobe. Learn how to, how to use Photoshop. Learn all of these great programs so you are able to develop yourself. You are on social media, on Instagram, looking at drama, looking at what other people are dealing with in their personal lives, which is really none of our business if we want to be honest. But the truth of the matter is, if you use the, 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 the social media platforms that you are on to, to learn how to promote yourself, promote your business, start posting pictures, start doing these different things, people will flock to you and follow you. And you don't even have to do a thing. Your work will speak volumes for you. Listen, if you want to learn more or promote your business even more, I'm going to tell you something else. What you want to do, um, as I mentioned before, you want to promote your business on different um, social media platforms. I urge all of you to create a LinkedIn account. Create a LinkedIn account. In addition to that, you um, also want to take courses on LinkedIn and also take courses on Skillshare. These are very important. Why? Because this is how you're going to present yourself to professionals. Facebook has family more so. Instagram is everybody. You see all sorts of things. Pinterest, you, you post um, all fascinating things, concepts, this, that, and the third. But these two platforms, LinkedIn and Skillshare, this is where you want to uh, promote your business because the professionals are there. Those are the top five so far. Listen, you want the next top five? Let's discuss the next top five. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna discuss them next week. I urge all of you so we can discuss the last top five careers that are raving during the pandemic. And I want all of you to take advantage of that. Thank you for watching. None other than Dr. George Fabre Jr. And remember, I'm here to share. I'm here to provide you with these resources. We're not going to be selfish. We're going to make sure that everybody succeeds. I don't want to be a success story. Then I go to my grave and all I did was look out for me and my family. No, I want to look out for me, my family, you, your family, and generations to come. Because remember, no matter where you are, no matter how low you are, no matter how far you've fallen astray, remember, you can come back because you are still qualified to win. See you next week as we get ready to discuss the top five careers that are doing exceptionally well during the pandemic. Peace. Day to all of my qualifiers, my family, my friends, I want to take this moment to thank you all for watching this podcast. We have more to come every Thursday, every Thursday at 6 p.m. Expect to get some new material, new content that we will be sharing. We'll be covering all types, all sorts of topics. Don't miss out. Listen, follow us, subscribe. Do all that you got to do. Subscribe to our YouTube page. What are you waiting for? Let's get it done. Let's do this together. Share, comment, provide all the insight that you have. Let us share and learn from each other respectfully and with love. One more thing. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. I am Dr. G. Fab. Also on Facebook, Dr. George Fabray. And don't forget to like, like our page. And also, if you want this merchandise, you want all these um, apparel, merchandise, and all of the things that we have to offer, our book, The Controversy of Divorce and Remarriage, don't forget to go to drgeorgefabray.com. Again, drgeorgefabray.com. I appreciate and love all of you all. See you next week, 6 p.m.